Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Well, hello there YouTube, and today it snowed again, and I'm gonna show you some parts of my van build, uh, so you get a little more familiar about what it looks like, and sort of how I go about on a daily using it, uh, you know, capturing my snippets of sanity. That's what I'm calling it, because on a daily basis, I think you need something to sort of like, take you out of the, the daily doldrums kind of thing. And for me, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be heading out to work this afternoon, and it's nice to sort of have a micro camping session, wh whatever that may be. And it's, it's a lot, for me, it's a lot of fun. And one way to do that is obviously by creating your own little spatial, your own little escape pod or getaway van. And that's something that I'm gonna show you today. Open up the thing here. So I've got this thing here that'll take care of the snow off my windshield and stuff and if I go inside it's nice and cozy in here and I'm gonna clear this out I can't do it with one hand because I uh, I'm holding the other cam I'm holding the camera so I need two hands for this okay so I'm gonna put you on hold okay forget that change of plans I'm just gonna go around to the side here and go from the front I like guess there we go Nice and quiet. Lock that door. I bought some croissants, some cheese croissants, and I bought some more blueberry jam. Well, will you look at that? So the floor is wet. From before, I had stepped in with my boots, and now I have to dry it. So you could see it. It's 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 it's. It's definitely wet, and you could see the tiny, tiny space I've got here. I think I think that's my latest term: tiny, 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 tiny. But here's my my van right now. So here it is without room, and here it is with some room. So we got a bit of space, you know, in a tiny, tiny, tiny camper like this. You know, it's funny. You're gonna hear me say that tiny, 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 like it's like one word. Uh, every every inch counts so very important and I've got this thing here too that I'm using I mean this is actually an excellent purchase especially in the winter time it's like a broom but better it can take ice off your windshield and I'm just gonna turn on some lights here there we go <laughs> and there's the exposed wires people really freak out over that but believe me it's very safe it looks extremely scary but don't worry, I'm going to fix it up. Uh, for now, I just need to get through winter and then the spring when I fix it, but I've kept everything as safe as possible. Everything is fused. Everything is protected. So I'm going to turn on my diesel heater and here it is. And on a daily basis, I turn it on at high for about half an hour. And what that does is it clears it out and any soot that builds up gets burnt up. So we're going to do that right now. And also warm up the place and dry off the the floor here we are I'm going to just turn it on did I turn it on yeah it's on it's saying it's on so there you go it starts to go around like that and then after about a minute or two it'll go full full steam ahead it'll start to really heat up in here the diesel heater is running well and I set up my little area back here from seat mode to bed mode because I want to be lounging more than I am sitting down and I've got the back portion there I opened up the window and all it really is is a this cover that I made very cheaply just to sort of get me by for this winter I'm going to set it up much better you know in the summer when it's warmer right now I just need to get through this winter and certainly uh, enjoy some of the time I have with this camper van that I made now check this out so what I did here was as you know this is a tiny 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 van tiny space and everything so you could see it I, I I took a bungee cord right and just hooked it up to the other side oops got kind of dark there and then I sort of just you know stuffed this bag there and now it's it's working pretty good now that's the beginning or a germ of an idea that I'm going to start with just to maximize as much as I can fit and store in this vehicle. 
you know, without having a too much of an issue. And, uh, oh, you can see my comfy socks there. Anyway, some more stuff, some more views there. And this is my daily view. Uh, and I mentioned it before. Uh, it's it's a partial build. It's not 100%. And <laughs> look, you can still see the cardboard there. And there's cardboard here and cardboard uh, here as well. So um, there are still bits and pieces of cardboard because that's how I originally made this. I originally made it using cardboard and then I sort of filled it in as materials became available. So I made this headboard here called like the bulkhead area and I'm gonna use it for storage. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna handle it but I've got some ideas. And what I did was I attached it to the roof of the van it's the part where I, I literally glued it on and it worked really well. It's extremely secure. Now, you can probably hear in the background the heater starting up. It almost sounds like an airplane outside. Yep, it sounds like an airplane. Baby, it's cold outside. Look at this gorgeous view of the parking lot. And so now, so now you may be wondering how long is this bed of mine well the video makes it look like it's long but it really isn't if i were to go to the very back there and lie down my feet would be sticking my feet would be sticking out here so what happens is i have this here that it's the pantry that opens up and creates an extension so i could comfortably you know, lie down there. However, I actually prefer going from here, my head would be here all the way to there. So I'd be diagonal, which is kind of a little weird, but you know, it's extremely comfortable. Uh, but it's it's made that much more comfortable because I have the cushions, the three inch cushions that I want to make to be about four or five inches. I know five, four or five inches. I know I'm going to lose a lot of headroom, but that's going to be okay. I think um, comfort is, is more important in most cases and I'm fine with it. And there's our hero of the day. I could watch this for hours. And there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build as I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video of my curated playlist.